All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing an equipment tour. So I'm outside right now. This is my latest purchase. It's a 1981 John Deere 317. It, um, I was mowing with it yesterday, but it overheated and it's leaking oil right now. So ripped it apart, found some, some found the parts that I needed, and I'm going to pick them up so I can get her going again because it's a nice machine. Uh, most really good new blades they got it for a pretty good deal so hopefully we can get this thing going soon and uh yeah all right moving into the shop here we have a 1983 john deere 8450 uh, we bought this at auction last year for but yeah nice tractor new tires on the back um pretty nice machine works good for tillage and then also in the shop over here, we have a Gale um, 5640 Turbo. Needs a new engine. The We've been taking parts off of it for our other loader too, so we're going to need to get a lot more parts if we want to ever get this thing going again. But it's just good to know it's here if we have it, and parts are always here for our other one. All right, guys, moving over to the cold side, or the cold storage side, we have the Case IH. Uh, 2470. Actually, it's just a case. It's a JI case. Um, but yeah, this is a silage packing tractor. Um, it needs some work. Not quite sure what it needs. This is a pretty nice tractor. Uh, I don't have any videos of it going because haven't really used it in a while. But yeah, pretty solid case tractor. And then right next to the case, right in front of it, we have the John Deere 7700. Not sure what year, but it is a pretty nice tractor. This is our cutting hay tractor, feeding uh, mixer tractor. You know, just a good all-around tractor. And um, we also picked this tractor up at an auction a long time ago. And uh, yeah, it's basically just a good chore tractor for everything. New seat in it. But yeah. And then over here, we have the old uh, 4955. This thing is a workhorse. Use it for literally everything, everything we can. <clears throat> um, we use it on the, basically everything for tillage. We use it on the digger, the vertical till, the chisel plow, manure spreader, uh, ag bagger. We use it for everything. Um, it has the blade on it right now. Yeah, we use it for solids too. Uh, this is a 12 foot John Deere blade. It's the blade that came with the 8450. But yeah, it's got the Soundguard cab on it. 55 series Soundguard. Um, 16 speed power shift transmission in it. It's a good tractor. Has a PTO, you know, basically just a nice tractor. It's a 1989 model, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, solid. This is a solid tractor. And then down below the 4955, we have the old uh, 4320, which is a nice tractor. It's like 103 horsepower, I think. I'm not sure what it is. Um, we use this tractor on the newer spreader sometimes. It does have the synchro shift transmission in it, which is kind of hard to run unless you know how to run it. But I know how to run it, so it's not that hard. But yeah, this tractor is pretty small. We use it for the blower, well, the blower, the manure spreader, and, um, I don't know, some random stuff, pull, moving stuff around, you know. But we don't really use it that much, and that, except for the manure spreader in the summer, so it gets used every day. Um, over here we have our John Deere 7000 six-row planter. This is a pretty nice planter. Um, it's basically, well, it's our old planter. There's nothing wrong with it. We just um, upgraded that 12 row over there. Speak more about that later. But yeah, this thing we pulled with the 7400 last year. We used it a little bit, but this year we're not going to be using it. So we're probably going to sell it. And then maybe selling that, we'll have enough money to pay for GPS for the tractor. So John Deere 7000, it's the older style. Um, yeah, pretty nice little planter for smaller farm. 
Okay, moving over here, we have our John Deere 7200 Conservation 12 row planter. Um, this planter we picked up at an auction for a steal of uh, $4,000. Needed some work, like we just um, we replaced like these chains and stuff, but that was pretty cheap. And then it needed some stuff with the vacuum seal, but we got that all fixed up. Does not have the liquid tanks hooked up right now, but maybe we'll get them hooked up this year. But this thing was a good deal, and it has the discs on it for no-till and stuff, so don't even really have to do tillage. We were getting away with just running the vertical till over some plowed ground. Didn't have to run the digger over it or the cultivator, just went right in really good, so that was nice. Um, yeah, this thing's a really nice planter. I think we got a good deal on it. Moving over to our combine here, we have the old uh, John Deere 9500. It does have the 50 years of leadership sticker on it, and it is a maximizer, so that's kind of cool. Barely see it with the two stickers there. That's pretty rare. Um, got it from Mid-State Equipment. And yeah, it's a really nice machine. We bought it in October of last year, and we're running the old uh, 7720s head on there, the six row. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys the inside here in a second. But yeah, this is a really nice machine. It's got like the spinner thing on the back. Um, I realized that I never made an actual official like video about this combine. Um, but yeah, we bought it last year. Forgot to make a video about it. But in the cab, it's pretty nice. Um, it has a body seat in here, you know, basic, you know, 9000 series combine, all the lights. All that kind of stuff radio um just controls stuff here the hydro hydro lever all the auger you know just basic stuff in here for a combine um pretty big grain tank it actually has extensions on it up here these are pretty nice they hold hold a lot of grain i think like one and a half loads fills up our grain cart so that's pretty nice and it also has like a back area, like a service bay, so that's pretty nice. I'll show you guys that in a minute. So I can't really get up there, but here's the, how it works. You just push that up, and then you can pull it out. There's like a ladder that drops down and stuff. I'll get up there in a minute. All right, guys, I just got up into the service bay area here. And this is like the big fan, you know, it all opens up. Really nice. And then there's these two steps to get up to the engine batteries you know fire extinguisher air filter radiator you can climb right up to the grain tank which is nice you can climb inside of there too yeah this is a pretty nice machine i like this combine a lot it's a better better combine than our old 7720 that's for sure all right guys here's our john deere 750 grain drill over here um it is a 15 foot grain drill it matches the 7800 perfectly. It's got like, made like the same year, around the same time. Um, pretty nice drill here. Oh, it has the drags on the back. Actually, I don't know if they're drags, they're like tines, but they work pretty good. It has the uh, fertilizer boxes in the front. The golf ball in there. But yeah, in here you can get a better look at the head on the old uh, 9500. So yeah, that's pretty nice and yeah, we got this at Mid-State too. We got like a lot of equipment from there. But yeah, I think that's all in this half of the shed. Let's head over here. Well, right here we have the old Chevy grain truck. It's got Griswold Farms on the door. We made that uh, grain box for it. This used to be an old co-op truck back in the day, but then uh, we got it at an auction. Pretty nice grain truck. I mean, it gets the job done. It's got a Detroit diesel under the hood. And uh, the interior could have seen better days, but stick shift, manual, um, pretty nice truck, gets the job done. And uh, yeah, pretty nice uh, truck. And over here we have two chopper boxes, an HNS HD 7 plus 4. The old, uh, got the big tires on it. There's a lawn sweeper I bought, I don't know, it's just junk. Um, here is the other one. That one has no roof, this one does. That one's for side chopping, this one's not. Um, 
This one doesn't have the quick hitch on it, but that one does. Quick hitch for this one's right here. PTO for both of these. And over here we have the old uh, 6710 chopper. This is a nice machine. We used it a little bit last year, but it was broken for a long time before that. Um, glad, I'm glad we got it going though, because we're probably going to be using it for hay this year. Um, it does have a six row corn head on it. I believe this head folds too. I think it folds like right there where that is. So, pretty nice machine. Um, newer tires on it, probably about 80% on the tires, a little less maybe. Um, yeah. Over here we have the old zero turn mower, the triple seven. Pretty nice machine, use it for mowing. And can't really do anything else with it because it's just a mower. But here we have the 140. This is my main machine. I like this lawnmower a lot. This has got to be my favorite lawnmower I have. It's got the uh, 14 horsepower Kohler in it. Nice engine. Uh, didn't I don't have to do much maintenance on this thing at all. Well, I mean not maintenance, like fixing because it doesn't really break down. The only thing I've had to replace is that starter. Um, the 210 here. This thing is a... I have mixed feelings about this thing. It started on fire last summer. I fixed it all up, got the wiring all re uh together oh fixed and i made we got this battery mount made up it's john deere and everything so works out good got a newer seat on it the guy i bought it from put that seat on there but it does pop out of gear so i need to get some some gear detent whatever things fix it up but yeah it's a really nice machine it's, it was repainted before i bought it too so pretty nice and here's the launch whip i bought brand new these things always mess up they're just not good i'm thinking about getting like maybe i don't know maybe some kind of different brand of one try it out but they're just so expensive and then if they break it doesn't pay so we'll see how that goes we'll see what i decide to do with that but um oh yeah we have this sportsman over here this is the polaris sportsman 800 it has efi um this is a really nice four-wheeler uh, yeah, I think that's there's not really much else to say about it it's Just a nice four-wheeler goes really fast And yeah, all right guys out here is my John Deere 212 um, This thing needs some work It needs some like work up in the carburetor and stuff, but it, it was cranking over and like starting to pop But I kind of didn't do much else with it, but it's pretty nice. Well, it was nicer, but it's a decent looking lawnmower um, yeah, not much else to say about it. Alright guys, over here, sitting outside, we have the old, uh, 7720. This is our old combine we used to use before we got the 9500. Um, it's got an old cab in it. We're thinking about selling it. We're probably going to take it to an auction. Oh, it's hot in here. It's like 75 degrees out today, so it's warm. But, yeah, it's, uh, from Mid-State Equipment figures um yeah pretty nice machine here i like this combine i like the way it looks it looks beefy it's got the four-wheel drive on the back the 9500 does not have that but yeah pretty nice machine if it wouldn't break down so much all right guys heading over here towards the uh vertical till we have a landall 7430 um this thing's sitting outside, but we don't have any shed space. Uh, we got it at Mid-State Equipment. This thing's super heavy. It's made out of solid steel beams. And it uh, takes a lot of tractor to pull this thing comfortably. So that's why we rented a bigger tractor last year. I'll throw in a video of that right now. Um, yeah, that's why we rented that tractor, because the 49, it always struggles to pull this, but, you know, it gets the job done still. But... This is a super heavy implement. It's like really thick. These are really thick beams. Um, yeah, it's hard to pull. And one of these uh, front caster wheels fell off. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do with this with that. But fell off. It's fine now. Um, over here, this is our DMI Tiger Mate cultivator, field cultivator. This thing works good. We just use, use it for cultivating obviously it's we pull it with the 4955 uh, I'm not sure how big it is probably like a 30 foot or something 
along those lines, like maybe 28 foot or something like that. But then over here we have three chopper boxes. Those two have um, like no um, front unload. Those are just the real rear unload. And then that one has front and rear unload. So that's why we're using those for corn silos. We can load, unload into the bunker. But yeah, those are just some of our equipment. We have some junk sitting over there. We have a smaller h &S box, and then we have a Heston stacker, and then a gravity wagon sitting over there. But yeah, this is just kind of some more equipment outside. All right, guys, over here we have our Coon 8124 manure spreader. This is the red one. This thing needs the beaters put back on it, but it's been sitting out here for a little while. Haven't gotten around to fixing it yet, but this is a nice ship. This is a nice spreader. Um, Works good when it's going right. Just solid spreader, doesn't leak like our other one. But yeah, I like that spreader. Um, over here we have our Brilliant uh, Cult to Mulcher, or Cult to Packer, whatever people call it. I call it the Cult to Mulcher. But yeah, this thing is pretty nice. You can go pretty fast with it, pretty good speed. Especially with the 78, because that thing pulls it no problem. But yeah, pretty nice little, uh, Cultimulture here works good.